Auto Beat Sync is a feature in Filmora 11 that allows you to automatically extract highlights and sync them with the background music beats. You can get to it in a few different ways. You can import a video and use this function on it by selecting the Import with Auto Beat Sync option from the Import drop down menu. If the video is already in the media library, you can right click on it and choose Auto Beat Sync from the menu or run the Auto Beat Sync command from the Tools menu to open the Auto Beat Sync window. Here on the top left corner of the window in the Auto Highlight section, we have our selected video. If you wish to add more videos, you can do so by clicking on the plus sign and importing them. Now if you move down here, we have the whole length parameter. Let's specify a value of 8 for it. This parameter specifies video's maximum length. It should not be shorter than the background music and should not be longer than the one third of the total length of all imported clips combined. Now next section here is Auto Beat Sync. From here we define the track for the background music as well as the music's start time. You can use this default track or assign your own by clicking on this folder icon. Now to set the start time, we can click on this play button or we can enter a value in this field or we can drag this red bar. I'll go ahead and set time to 120. Next we have the beat cut parameter that allows you to adjust the frequency of the beats. If you set it to fast, the final video will have more highlights. If you set it to slow, there will be less highlights in the video. Let us select the fast frequency. Now the last thing we have here is video effect. You can enable them to add them to your timeline. These effects will not be baked into the video but instead display as effects on their own track. I'll go ahead and select the fourth dot for glow and blur. Once you are all set, click on the analyze button. Did you notice any blur or glow during playback? Let's double check. If you need to make any changes, update the values and reanalyze the footage. If you are satisfied with the output, click on the export to timeline button to export highlights, music and effects to the timeline. Notice here in the timeline, music, video and effects are in their own tracks.